I am Dr. P. Rajkumari, Associate Professor in Department of Mathematics, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today, I am going to explain some of the problems on method of grouping and method of multiplying. So, already we know what is the linear partial differential equation. The linear partial differential equation of first order is called Lagrange's linear equation. The equation in the form p into p plus q into q equal to r, where p comma q and r are functions of x and y. So, what is the general solution of the partial differential equation? That is p into p plus q into q equal to r is f of u comma v equal to 0 or we can write this one as pi of u comma v equal to 0. So, here u is one solution and v is another solution. Together, we can write the general solution of the partial differential equation. So, here u we can denote here u of x comma y comma z equal to some constant and v of x comma y comma z equal to some constant. So, together u and v, we can write the general solution of Lagrange's linear equation. So, to solve this equation, we are having two types of methods. That is one is method of grouping. And second one is method of multipliers. So, what is the method of grouping? What is the method of multipliers? All they will discuss. So, in this video, we are going to discuss some of the problems based on these methods. Just I, I will give the outlines about these methods. First one, method of grouping. So, in this method of grouping, we are going to write the auxiliary equation first. So, dx by p equal to dy by q equal to dz by r. So, now, here we will take uh, so first member and second member then we can get one solution after doing the integration so otherwise we can select the second one and third one otherwise we can select first one and third one so like this we can take first member or second member second member or third member or first member or third member which is suitable to do the direct integration after simplification so, then we can get the solutions. Here, we need to get one solution from here and the second solution from here. So, then we can write the general solution. Otherwise, we can take 1 equal to 2 and 1 equal to 3. Then we can take the two solutions from this. Otherwise, some of the problems we are getting 2 equal to 3 is one solution and 1 equal to 3 is one solution. So, like this. So, one of so, in some of the problems, we can get 1 or 2. So, that is 1 equal to 2 or 2 equal to 3. Otherwise, in some of the problems, we are going to get the solution from 2 equal to 3 or 1 equal to 3. So, like this, some of the problems, you can get the solution 1 equal to 2 and 1 equal to 3. It completely depends on the problem, what it will be when in the question. So, based on that, we have to take the pairs. That means, we are grouping these members. So, to get the solution. So, this is the way to get the solution by using the method of grouping. Now, coming to method of multipliers. Second one is method of multipliers. So, here we need to select the set of multipliers. How to select the set of multipliers? So, we are giving one condition to set or to decide to give uh, take in num numbers or numbers or multipliers or not. So, we will take L, M, N. So, this is one set of multipliers. Here, L into dx plus M into dy plus N into dz. So, when you are multiplying numerators with L, M, N, N. N. In the same way, we are going to multiply denominators also after writing the, from the auxiliary equation we have to write, right? So, dx by p equal to dy by q equal to dz by r. So, this is equal to, so first I am multiplying, so first one L into dx plus m into dy plus n into dz by, in the same way I am going to multiply L into p plus m into q plus n into 
are this value this value should be zero this value should be zero then we can decide that these elements are multipliers so of that given equation so if this value is equal to zero that means lp plus mq plus nr equal to zero then i can do this integral ndx plus integral mdy plus integral ndz so equal to some constant so based on this i can get one solution in the same way i'm going to take another set of multipliers in the same way i can simplify this to get the solution so these are the procedures to solve the given problem now i am moving to the problem solve solve y square p plus x square q equal to x square y square z square here i am writing first given given equation is y square p plus x square q equal to x square y square z square here i am comparing this one with the lagrange's equation that means comparing given equation with the lagrange's equation that is capital p into small p plus capital q into small q equal to r so now what is the p value what is the q value i am going to write now so p equal to y square p so that means here p value is y square so next q equal to x square and r equal to x square y square z square so these are the values of p q r so now we are going to write the subsidiary equations or auxiliary equation that is dx by p equal to dy by q equal to dz by r now we are replacing p q r values in auxiliary equation that is dx by y square equal to dz by x square equal to dz by x square y square z square. So this is our auxiliary equation. So now we are going to solve this one by using the grouping method. So first I am taking first member is equal to second member. So what is the first member dx by y square equal to dy by x square now i am doing the cross multiplication so here x square dx equal to y square dy so now i can do the integration so integrating on both sides integrating on both sides now integral x square dx plus sorry here equal to integral y square dy. So integral x square is x cube by 3 equal to integral y square is y cube by 3 plus some constant. So here I can write this one as x cube by 3 minus y cube by 3 equal to some constant. So finally this is x cube minus y cube equal to 3a. So both are constants, then we can write this one as a. So finally, this is x cube minus y cube equal to a. This is my first solution when I'm selecting first member and second member. So finally, this is the first solution. U is x cube minus y cube that is equal to some constant. This is first solution. Next, I'm going to do the second solution. So here I am selecting first member is equal to third member. So what is the first member? dx by y square. First member and last member. So what is the first member? dx by y square equal to dz by x square y square z square. So here y square y square will be cancelled. Finally I will get here dx equal to dz by x square z square so here one is there y is cancelling now i am doing the cross multiplication so here x square into dx equal to already it is there that is 1 by z square dz so now i can do the integration because uh, this is in the form of the form 
So v square vx square dx equal to z power minus 2 dz. Now integrating on both sides. Now I am doing integrating on both sides. So integral x square dx equal to integral z power minus 2 dz. So integral x square is x cube by 3 equal to z power minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 plus some constant. So here this value is x cube by 3 equal to z power minus 1 by minus 1 plus b. Can write this one I am sent to this way. So x cube by 3 here plus 1 by z equal to some constant. So here this is our second solution. So now I can write the general solution. General solution is f of u comma v equal to 0. So u is already I got u equal to x cube minus y cube. So v equal to we can write x cube plus 3z power minus 1. So otherwise you can give as it is also this one and said x cube plus 3z power minus 1 equal to 3. We can write this one as one constant. So finally v equal to x cube plus 3 into z power minus 1. This is the u solution and this is the solution. So finally I can write the general solution that is f of x cube minus y cube comma x cube plus 3 into z power minus 1 equal to 0. This is our general solution. So this is the way to solve the given problem. Here in this problem we want the two solutions. Now second one solve solve x square p plus y square q equal to x square by z square. First I know given given equation is x square p plus y square q equal to x square by z square. So here I am comparing this one with p into p plus q into q equal to r. So what is the p value? p equal to x square, q equal to y square and r equal to here x square by z square. Now I am going to write the color equation that is dx by p equal to dy by q equal to dz by r. So dx by what is the p value x square? equal to dy by what is the q value y square equal to dz by r is x square by z square. So this is our auxiliary equation. Now from this auxiliary equation I am going to get the solutions. First I am considering first and First time considering first member and second member. What is the first member? dx by x square equal to dy by y square. So here I can do the direct integration. So x power minus 2 dx equal to y power minus 2 dy. So now I am integrating here x power minus 2 dx equal to integral y power minus 2 dy. So here x power minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 equal to y power minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 plus some constant. So here I can write this one as minus 1. So minus x power minus 1 equal to minus y power minus 1 plus e. So here I am sending the values. Here finally this solution is y minus 1 by x plus 1 by y equal to e. So this one. So this is my first solution that is u equal to minus 1 by x plus 1 by y equal to e. This is my first solution. Now I am going to solve what is the first member dx by x square equal to dz by x square by z square. 
here x square x square will be cancelled. Finally here 3x equal to z power minus 2 into dz. Now I can do the direct integration because uh, there is no uh, need another simplification. So integrating on both sides. Integrating on both sides. So integral dx equal to integral z power minus 2 dz. So integral dx is x equal to here z power minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 plus some constant. So x equal to minus 1 by z plus b. So finally x plus 1 by z equal to b. This is the second solution that is x plus 1 by z equal to b. This is my b solution. So b equal to x plus 1 by z equal to b. Now finally in the general solution is the general solution is f of u comma v equal to 0. What is u? 1 by y minus 1 by x. And what is v? x plus 1 by z equal to 0. So this is my final general solution. So this is the way to solve the given problem by using the method of grouping. Here also I got two solutions. Here also I got two solutions from the method of grouping. Now solve. Solve P plus Q equal to sin x. So here given p plus q equal to sin x. Now comparing with the Lagrange's equation that is p into p plus q into q equal to r. So p value is 1, q value is 1 and r is sin x. Now writing the polar equation that is dx by p equal to dy by q equal to dz by r. So here dx by 1 equal to dy by 1 equal to dz by r is sin x. Now I am taking first two numbers to solve the problem. So 1 equal to 2. So dx equal to dy. So now integrating on both sides. So integral dx equal to integral dy. So x equal to y plus some constant. So x minus y equal to a. This is the first solution. That is u. u equal to x minus y. Next, I am going to take another side. That is, I am taking first and last method. What is first and last numbers? 1 equal to 3. Here, 1 equal to 0. So now, I am taking 1 equal to What is the 1? dx by 1 equal to dz by sin x. Now, I am doing the cross multiplication here. So, sin x into dx equal to dz. Now, here, I can do the integration. Integrating on both sides. So integral sin x dx equal to integral dz. So integral sin x is minus cos x equal to z plus some constant. So finally I can write this one as z plus cos x equal to some constant. So this is the solution B. So finally Finally, u is x minus y and v is z plus cos x. Now, I am writing the general solution f of u comma v equal to 0. So, f of u is x minus y comma v is z plus cos x equal to 0. So, this is our final general solution. After simplifying no problem, we can see this. Solve. 
x into y minus z into p plus y into z minus x into q equal to z into x minus y. So here given equation is this. Now I am going to write right hand this form. I am comparing now. So what is the p value? So p equal to x into y minus z and q equal to y into z minus x and r equal to z into x minus y. Now I am going to write the auxiliary equation. So auxiliary equations are dx by p equal to dy by q equal to dz by r. So finally I am writing here dx by p is x into y minus z equal to dy by y into z minus x equal to dz by z into x minus y. Now, here how to solve this? So, can we solve this one by using the group of method or not? So, method of group is we can't solve because if you are taking 1 equal to root 2, so here we can't take as the variables of any method to the, do the direct integration. So, here that's why here we are going to use the set of multipliers. So, here first I am choosing first set of multipliers are L1, M1, M1. Those are 1 comma 1 comma 1. So now here I am doing dx by x into y minus z equal to dy by y into z minus x equal to dz by z into x minus y. Now I am using the set of multipliers for set of multiplier. So dx1 into dx plus 1 to dy plus 1 into dz by denominator values. So here 1 into p that is x into y minus z plus y into z minus x plus z into x minus y. So this value should be 0. So that's why first I am simplifying this x y minus x z plus y z minus x y plus x z minus y z. So plus x z minus x z minus y z plus y z x y x y. Here this value is 0. That means dx plus dy plus dz by 0. So now I can integrate this one to get the solution. So integral dx plus integral dy plus integral dz equal to some constant. So integral dx is x plus integral dy is y integral dz is z. So this one is 0. So finally this is u. So u equal to x plus y plus z. This is the first solution. So my set of multipliers is 1 comma 1 comma 1. So I got the first solution u equal to x plus y plus z equal to c1. Now I am going to do next solution. So you can observe here. So here dy by y into z minus x equal to dz by z into x minus y. So here I am taking set of multipliers as second set of multipliers L2 M2 N2 that is x, y and z. So first I am doing here x into dx plus y into dy plus z into dz by so here if I am taking like that so can we get this denominator is 0 or not I have to check so here if I take x y z I can't get the denominator 0 so that's why I am taking 1 by x 1 by y 1 by z so that means 1 by x into dx 1 by y into dy 1 by z into dz so then here 1 by x into denominator I am taking here 1 by x into x into y minus z 
plus 1 by y into y into z minus x plus 1 by z into z into x minus y. So x is cancelled, y is cancelled, z is cancelled. Finally, denominator y minus z plus z minus x plus x minus y. So here plus z minus z plus x minus x plus y minus y. So finally, this value is here that is L into P plus L2 into P plus M2 into Q plus M2 into R equal to 0. So then we can write the solution integrate here integral L2 into dx integral M2 into dy plus integral N2 into dz equal to some constant. So equal to here integral 1 by x into dx plus integral 1 by y into dy plus integral 1 by z into dz equal to constant. So integral 1 by x is log x plus integral 1 by y is log y. Integral 1 by z is log z equal to 0. So now finally log x plus log y plus log z equal to 0. So log a plus log b plus log c finally log a b c log x y z equal to here all terms are in the log up. So that's why I am taking log c to here. So log x y z equal to log c to finally x y z equal to c to. This is my second solution that is we already I got you and I got me now then the solution is f of u comma v equal to 0. So f of what is u x plus y plus z comma v is x y z equal to 0. This is my general solution. So this is the way to solve the given problem by using method of multipliers. Here in this problem I got solutions from the method of multipliers so, only. Okay. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.